Quiz 1, question 1. It looks like it must be a statics problem. Uh, doesn't actually say it's static, so, but it does say state and justify all assumptions. So, nothing's moving. Um, other assumptions? Oh, we're on Earth. Um, I'm not sure I need anything more there. Oh, pressure gauge A on top of the tank reads 200 bar. That's a pretty high pressure. The air density won't be negligible. If air is an ideal gas, then at 200 bar, that's 200 atmospheres, its density will be about 200 times as much as it is at atmospheric pressure. So density of air roughly equal to 200 times 1.2 is 240 kilograms per cubic meter. That's sort of a bit of a trick. Now, the tube leading to pressure gauge B is filled with mercury at a density of 13,550 kilograms per cubic meter. So that's going all the way around and up to there. Okay. What should the indicated pressure be on gauge B? So both of these are exposed to atmosphere out here. The pressure at A is really high, 200 bars. The pressure at B, I think it's going to be lower because it's going further up with the mercury, but let's walk around the loop. So the pressure at B will be equal to the pressure at A plus 10 meters times density of air, 240 kilograms per cubic meter, because the air is at such a high pressure, times G. That gets us down to here. And then water, let's take density of water equal to a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. The pressure will increase again going down here to the surface of the mercury. It's two meters times the density of the water is a thousand times G is 9.81. Then we get to the mercury, there's no change in pressure as we go around and back up to this height here. But then we're going to go up 12 meters to the pressure gauge at B. So minus, because the pressure is going to go down, 12 meters times 13,550 times 9.81. So I'll get my calculator plug everything in. The pressure at A is 200 bar, so that's 200 times 10 to the fifth pascals plus 10, whoops, 10 times 240 times 9.81 is 23,544 and that's meters, kilograms per meter cubed, meters squared per second, so that's in Pascals as well, plus 2 times 1,000 times 9.81 is 19,620 minus 12 
times 13,550 times 9.81 is a big number. 1.5951 times 10 to the 6th. So, I'll clear that. 200 times 10 to the 5 plus 23544 plus 19620 minus 1.5951 times 10 to the 6 is still a big number. So converting that, that's 1.845 times 10 to the 7th. 1.845 times 10 to the 7th Pascals or 184.5 bar since one bar equals 10 to the fifth pascals. That should be the pressure that's showing on the gauge at location B right up here.